Okay, so I'm going to take a look at the uh, Silvercrest um, on air headphones. Um, these are sold at little stores. Um, they are an imitation of Urban Ears um, headphones. Um, they come in all different colors. They are quite minimal. They fold up. Um, they've got the um, extra sockets on the on the uh, non-cable side, so you can connect another pair of headphones. Um, yeah. So, what's the first thing that strikes me when I see these? I kind of go, "Uh oh, imitation," and uh, they're going to sound pretty shitty because they are seven euros ninety-nine cent. Um, you're taking a risk when you're buying these things. You're kind of thinking, oh my god, you know, am I just going to throw away this money? Well, the answer to that question with these is no, you're not. These are fucking good. I've had all different types of headphones um, over the years and these aren't really my cup of tea because they're on ear, um, but they're handy, you know, for listening to a laptop or TV or that kind of thing. I prefer over the ear headphones and I prefer in ear headphones if I'm out and about. Um, as you can see, look, it's got a nice extra socket for another listener. They fold up, they'd be quite small in the pocket. You can wrap the cables around here like this. Uh, what is the sound like? Um, I plugged them into um, a hi-fi amplifier and I cranked up the um, bass and these did not distort. Um, it says that they have a 40 millimeter PET membrane. Um, the treble is really silky and um, accurate. Um, like these are seven ninety nine, seven euros ninety nine. I mean, that's about ten dollars. Um, they're just for the money. I mean, you can't go wrong. Even if you bought two or three pairs, you even if I don't know how long they're going to last. The cable as well is um, the type of um, coated cloth type cable. It's a nice touch. Um, they don't have. Um, um, a volume on the cable like the um, uh, Urban Ears but other than that they sound very very good the sound is tight like I said and I mean what's 7 99 you wouldn't probably that's just the price of a meal at McDonald's isn't it which is which you know I prefer the headphones at McDonald's so yeah that's um, it it's possible that you know, these are made in China and it's possible that um, some of these drivers um, and the magnets in the speakers, they probably come from the same factory and manufacturers throughout Europe buy them and they stick them into their speakers. That's what's happening. Uh, in other words, when you're buying a premium headphone, you're probably paying for the brand. You're paying for the name half the time. Um, it's a, I'm going to look out for if they bring out a bigger set that are over the ear headphones, I'd have no problem paying three times the price because these are fantastic. Um, with CD, they sound great anyway. Um, that's with the full frequency. I haven't tried any um, MP3s because MP3s sound like shit anyway. Um, so what's the point? Like an MP3 as a sound source is quite shit. Shitty. Um, it's, it's mushy treble, <clears throat> the bass is a bit soft and soggy, the definition on an mp3 isn't that good. Um, so if if they're good enough for CD, well then you can't go wrong. So that's, um, that's the um, Silvercrest imitation Urban Ear and they're recommended so go out and buy some if you can get them.